Let's say that you wanna capture some Terraform output and then assign it as a variable in a GitHub action. Well, this is how you would do that. What you see on lines 27 through 29 is the syntax for taking Terraform output and assigning it to a variable that is then redirected to a variable called GitHub output, which makes that variable available to other steps with inside a GitHub action workflow. The syntax for that is as follows. You start with the echo command, then in quotations or double quotes, you put the name of the variable set to the output that is coming from Terraform. And to do that, you use the Terraform output command, and then you specify the output from the Terraform configuration that you want to populate the variable. And in this case, it's AKV name, it's getting the Azure Key Vault instance name and assigning it to the capital AKV underscore name variable that is then redirected to GitHub outputs and accessible in multiple steps. Now, how you access that information or that variable that was created is on line 33. So on line 33, we are accessing the steps.tf. So tf is the name of the step inside of this workflow. You can see that on line 25 with the name, um, the ID being named tf. And then we're going into the output. So steps, the tf steps, then the outputs of those steps, and then the variable name itself. And in this case, we're getting the variable that was populated on line 28, which is the ACR name or the Azure Container Registry name. That's how you access it, and this is the correct syntax. However, if you were to run it like this and you were missing one setting with how Terraform was installed on the runners, you're going to get an error like this. You're going to get an error that says unable to process file output successfully, and the reason is there's an invalid format for the variable because it includes a wrapper. So what you see here is the proper Key Vault instance name, but it also has a debug information and then this information about Terraform exiting successfully. And that is because by default, for whatever reason, the Terraform action modifies the default behavior of the Terraform command and it adds a wrapper around it. So how you disable that is if you go up inside of your workflow where you're setting up Terraform, where you're using the HashiCorp setup Terraform to install Terraform on the runner, you have to specify the Terraform wrapper to be false. Otherwise you'll get that error. If you set it to false, everything will be fine. So that's how you take Terraform output and assign it to a GitHub action variable that you can access in multiple steps. That took me several hours to figure out, and I hope that this video within under three minutes has saved you those several hours.